Okay, so we'll go with the next lecturer, uh, Peter Neutziel from uh, Prague is going to talk about LV volume reduction. Uh, are you here, Peter? Actually, my uh, talk is about uh, the volume reduction the using trans catheter system. It's a hybrid procedure. Actually, when I get back for uh, this 3D modeling, actually, I like this concept because uh, as um, uh, I, was also, I was also involved in the GDS uh, volume reduction, it's like uh, uh, mitral valve annuloplasty system uh, using catheter. We used actually the 3D printout uh, of the heart, of the actual patient, to actually designing and um, manufacturing uh, the tools for cinching the heart. Actually, this is another topic. So uh, I will be speaking about the hybrid procedure to get a revivant transcatheter system to uh, get volume reduction. This, all the concept is based on a little bit uh, troubles uh, we have uh, in the stitch trial, which is um, for our uh, audience, like interventional cardiologists, actually it's a surgical trial when they compare uh, cabbage versus cabbage plus uh, uh, anorismectomy, and they didn't show too much optimism to get benefit from this procedure. So this is a concept how to make uh, the procedure uh, without like off pump and using um, uh, the varying, and I will show you later, it will be like um, a little bit like TAVI, like transapical TAVI model of the workflow. So the first in man was done in September 2013 and inclusion criteria is for sure dilatic cardiomyopathy, it's like post ischemic uh, cardiomyopathy and well we need to show by MRI, uh, the anteroceptal and anteroscar involvement. And actually, it's like akinetic or dyskinetic segment of the left ventricle, and we carefully look at uh, my, uh, MRI or cardiac MRI um, imaging. And uh, actually, uh, the uh, left ventricle and systolic volume index should be over 60 milliliters. Uh, and uh, so it's like, uh, funny cartoons, like anecdotal, I did it, so sorry for that. Uh, it's like um, uh, the surgical side, it's like mini-invasive, they have like um, um, endoscopy and they uh, make a puncture through the free wall, the left ventricle free wall, they make a puncture through the left ventricle cavity, through the septum, and as an interventional cardiologist, I'm sitting here to bring a, a jugular puncture using a steerable, steerable sheet to grab with the snare uh, that needle. Okay, so I will show you the concept. Uh, actually, this is a workflow as I'm cardiologist sitting, I'm poor cardiologist sitting here, and the poor surgeon sitting here, and actually, uh, <clears throat> this is some steps of the concept. So actually, uh, the surgeon put or placed um, Peter, the stabilizer. Peter, we're going to interrupt because we've got a link up uh, for live case. So if you have oh, a seat, fantastic. we'll call you back again. I, I like, should I stay here or should no, no, I sit have down? Have a seat, or? have a seat and we'll okay, call fine. you back. Thank you. Okay, sorry about this. We'll do this very often, as you'll realize. Peter, if you can come back on, where are you? Onto the stage for the lecture. We'll continue. I have a good exercising here. Yes. Okay, I need to run and run and run. Absolutely. Okay, it's nice. We'll do it again in Actually, a few minutes. Uh, okay, so I'm a little bit confused where I start. Oh, here. Okay, so <laughs> the surgical side. Actually, well, so we have a stabilizer on the left uh, ventricle uh, ladder wall, and the surgeon needs to puncture the free wall and get through the left ventricle cavity the needle through the septum. Actually, on my side, when I have a <clears throat> jugger approach <clears throat> and the steering <clears throat> catheter, and place the loop of the snare just on the septal, right side septum. And then when I get that, he has good navigation of floral to make a puncture. So he need to go through the needle to my loop and actually I can grab it then. And when I grab it, he plays the PT saver through the system. So we are wiring uh, the left free wall through his side, through the uh, left ventricle, to the right ventricle and to the juggler. So we have a just one solid wire and then after that we can place the first anchor. The internal anchor is placed from my side, from juggler side, going down and placed on the right ventricle septum. So first anchor is going on the right ventricle septum side and then a surgeon placed from his side, from the outside external anchor uh, based on the, all, all the assembly. So then, 
he can change here, and you can see the floor of the system. So then, after first anchors, internal, external, the, the first pair, they can put the second, third, and whatever. So finally, the, the heart or the left ventricle, uh, it's clearly could be excluded <clears throat> for all this aneurysm. <clears throat> Actually, based on the surgical experience, uh, we did four these hybrid cases, even recently. So I have just analyzed for three of them in the six months. And if you compare uh, our surgical experience with this is same system, so uh, if you look at the essential parameters like uh, systolic volume index and diastolic volume index, the pre and post for surgical patients, and when I compare with the six months follow-up for the transcatheter, our own um, uh, experience, we got pretty much the same volumes, volume reduction, which is exciting. And actually also the patient really doing the same in terms of functionality. So I will quickly go through this. I'm afraid about interruption, so I need to be really fast. Okay, so uh, actually when I, when I, uh, I would like to show you one case, uh, we are really carefully looking at the MRI. So even dynamic study, like kinetic study, and uh, the, uh, the echo, and we need to evaluate all the scar placement. The, the critical part of this uh, procedure is based on the scar on the septum, because if the scar is not present on the septum, the procedure couldn't be done safely. So these are the fluoro, and actually uh, it's um, um, fluoro of uh, several fluoros. So actually we grab the, uh, is here visible, so we place uh, the loop on the septum side, okay? The right septum side is open here. The surgeon place the needle and through the hole. So it's, it's really nice here. So this is an open loop of the snare and is grabbed by my uh, catheter or snare catheter uh, from Jaguar. The, okay? can go through. Okay, actually, uh, you can here see also the placement of the PTCA wire through the needle, okay. And uh, this is a continuation. So after that, <clears throat> we place the first um, internal anchor through the system based on the wire, wiring um, uh, through the juggler to outside. And actually, here is the placement Here's the placement, uh, the, uh, the external anchor actually is visible here. It's already done here. And we are going to another, the second anchor. So when we have a good anatomy based on the, as I said, based on the MRI, we can place two, up to three internal anchors and then transepical as a final anchor because we need to close all the cavity. Actually, I use uh, the steerable uh, sheet, uh, uh, sheet and also steerable catheter. It's a mapping catheter, and it's critical because if you, if you manipulate with the steerable sheet uncovered, so the edges could tear the right ventricle uh, wall. So you need to protect uh, also um, uh, uh, some, some troubles who can uh, make a perforation of the free wall. So, <clears throat> uh, the old case, is, old case is finished by placement, two internal anchors and two external anchors, and then place also uh, the external, as I said, transepical anchor, and we close, we finally closed uh, uh, the, uh, the, the ventricle or the aneurysm. So this is a LV gram prior to the procedure. This is LV gram after placement, just two internal anchors. You can appreciate that it's not fling the aneurysm here. And if we, when we Peter, did for this patient, this Peter, part of, okay, so, sorry again. interruption again? A uh, bit more exercise, so if you have a seat, we'll call you back. I will exercise again? Yeah, exercise Fantastic. again, yeah. Okay, so run, don't forget this picture, okay? Yeah. Run down the steps and then we'll call you back. Okay. All right, Peter, exercise again, back on the stage. Those of you who've forgotten what Peter was talking about, that was transcatheter left ventricular volume reduction. I'm still here, well, it's, uh, I need to urinate, uh, but you know, I still keep it. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, 
Actually, uh, so we are speaking about left ventricle uh, uh, volume reduction, revivant, bioventrics, okay? Bioventrics, revivant, LV reduction. Actually, we uh, stop at the level when I showed you LV gram prior and then after the, uh, the uncorus placement. So what I didn't show you, the LAD flow prior this uh, remodeling and after this remodeling, which is kind of interesting. You can see here the effect of anatomy of uh, the LAD, but what is more important, what we did before the procedure, FFR, which is 0.7 in the relative number, which indicates like ischemic flow, and after we increase for nearly 0.8, which clearly means or indicates that, that we can even reduce the ischemic level of, um, of um, uh, the myocardium. This picture you probably don't understand while I'm partly electrophysiologist and this uh, LV gram, some of it's like uh, a voltage, it's a voltage mapping of the left ventricle. Uh, this purple indicates good potential, nice myocardium. The other colors, even red, is like scar. So the mapping prior to the procedure indicates real interval scar going to the septum. This is the septum, this interval. This is voltage map after the procedure, and it's excellent because you see and you can appreciate how effectively we decrease the volume of the area with the scarring process, which is really nice. And I was really impressed by that. And actually, uh, if I have a time, not moving to India, not moving to the Horst, uh, I can show uh, the last case very quickly, going through all these pictures, you know. Actually, the placement is interesting because we placed first anchor, second anchor, which is here. On the other series, we will show the third, the fourth. So we placed four anchors. For this particular patient, we really close all this aneurysm. And this is uh, uh, last but one, the picture from uh, the trans uh, esophageal echo during the procedure. You can appreciate it's this varying or anchor placement is visible here, and you can follow how we change real anatomy until the end of the procedure. So this is the final, final st status. So fine, it's the last slide, and I got it. Okay, no India, no no horse. <laughs> Actually, uh, so in conclusion, this first in man study confirmed that the transcatheter hybrid approach for left aneurysm, left ventricle aneurysm exclusion is feasible and in funny team, which is like really, uh, really flexible, means also you can shorten the learning curve. And actually we need to see more clinical cases and more clinical studies to, to show, to, to confirm that we are doing a good job. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, Peter. Yeah, thank you for your patience. Sorry to have kept interrupting you.